Peas, I have it soaked in hot water from last night and I add some garlic and what is maybe thyme in there and I add grated some coconut and I pour it in there so I make trying to make some veggie soup but I like my soup with coconut in it coconut milk but the peas I take long for boys I mean I want oh, guys if you shop at Whole Foods and you're a person who love okra listen this is the closest thing you can get like fresh frozen okra this okra right here i've been used i've been buying them for years now and they're never disappoint never disappoint so that's a good one to have and so here i have um irish potato um chocho some bay leaf a uh, basset bay leaf not bay leaf what the heck what is the package some type of bush <laughs> and i have green banana carrots i'm gonna cut this up this uh, red onion and i have some frozen pumpkin so that's for my soup i wish i have some cabbage so i could add some cabbage to it and i have some green peanut that i bought from jamaica So I'm going to use these Jamaican Kaksu pumpkin. So that's it. So I'm going to add some peanut to the soup. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. No turning back. Here is the peanut. Going in the soup. I had peanut soup before, so what harm could this make? I don't want to overdo it, but I already have red peas in there, so. Yep, peanut in the soup. I think there's too much food in the soup. But I'm gonna crush the pumpkin out, so maybe. But if not, I probably have to add some more water to it. But there is a soup. Um, I haven't put the cock soup in there as yet. So after these, kind of cook down a little bit, and I'm gonna add. So it's a peanut. The peanut and the red peas make it look so red but after I crush the pumpkin and put in the cock soup mix the Maggie soup mix I should say I think it's gonna get yellow so let's see so this is the Maggie <clears throat> so I put two of this Jamaican kaksu punk with pumpkin. So I put two of this with um with the pumpkin. So I took the pumpkin out of the pot. I'm just gonna like smash it up and I'm gonna add some black pepper and maybe some pepper flakes. I think I have some pepper from Jamaica, but probably in the freezer. So, so I'm gonna add this to it. This is the soup. So let's see when I add um, the pumpkin mix and see how it looks. Guys, to be honest, oh my gosh, the only thing missing is two little spinners, two little spinners dumpling, but oh, this soup is so rich. Look at all this goodness. And the peanut. Oh my God, it tasted. Oh. Mm. oh, and I put some corn in there too. I wish, I don't like soup without dumpling, but I don't have any flour. And I don't have any cornmeal, so. I guess that's it. Oh my God, this soup is, mm. this tastes a little bit. 
I find some Jamaican peppers. So I'm gonna put it in a soup and stir it up. Give it some extra kick and some extra flavors. Soup is ready, guys. It's a little bit thick, but it's okay. Let's taste it. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another vlog. Um, I just went downstairs to put on my moisturizer because the master is like right on top of the garage. I mean, the air is on, but it's not that cool at times. So I leave my moisturizer in the back room so it can be, it can keep cool. So I already moisturized my face and I'm using my sunscreen I need to get some more so I'm using my NARS foundation as usual I kind of need to use start using something else I need to I have a full bottle there that I haven't touched I'm open it as yet so I'm just I think I'm going to maybe return it and get a different foundation because I don't think I really need so much foundation just sitting. Not like I go out every day. So, but this is my favorite. It gave you a glow under your foundation. So it's a What's Up? It's from Benefit. Oh my God. I have it for so many years. So usually I just, whichever way you want to use it. So usually I just like um, put it on my skin before my foundation, but I forgot about it. But I, you can blend it in with your foundation. So just like use a sponge. It gave you this undertone glow. Yeah, so, so I'm going to Niguel, to Niguel um, restaurant in, I think it's Midtown. Yeah. One thing you can be sure of that, you know, you're going to get some good food. Their, their stump the yard, which is a fried dumpling with sawfish, and they give you this avocado dip my friends they love this the collard green spring rolls it's really good too not gonna lie it's really good everything there is good the drinks the food punch be careful the fruit punch it's a creeper you'll be drinking like oh my god this is the best food punch there's alcohol in there and there's a lot of it and if you're driving shit it's a problem guys but yeah it's really good i have all these spots in my face honestly i don't think i would go so hard in makeup because it's a lot of work and you know i'm not good at it but my secret is to just blend the shit out of it make sure everything is all blend in yeah so i think i'm gonna try my balance yoga again <laughs> i think i'm gonna wear it today since you know you park right here and the restaurant is right there i don't have to be walking Ooh, i wanna go to whole foods maybe we just throw another shoes in the car yeah i'm gonna try the balance yoga since oh i need to order something from amazon shit to stretch it yeah guys, so 
I'm blending this shit out of this foundation. Cause that's how I know to do makeup, just blend some of even. Okay, this is the cheeky part. So I have some Laurier Mercier, I think that's the name. And I have some Chanel. And I also have some Too Faced. So, okay. I need, maybe I need to go do some lesson how to do makeup because, okay, so some people, they, see what I do under my eyes, it's give me the wrinkles. Is this happen to everybody or maybe I'm not doing and some people put a lot of I would die if I put a lot of powder here and then I look but I like to see it like when underneath here yeah I like to see when underneath you have that clear bright look and I do from the nose I hope I don't get it. I don't know. I use the right makeup and I feel like I'm, when I do this, I can see like wrinkles. I don't know. Okay, so I sh maybe I should let it be. Okay, so this is the Laurier Mercier um, loose powder. Did that. Um, okay, so I have Chanel. Mm -mm. So, this is my favorite part of makeup. I like to mm. I like when my cheeks look tan. Oh, so maybe I should do my nose. Maybe I should turn some lights on. Okay. Okay, so I did my nose. Let's do the forehead. As I said, I like when my my cheeks look tan. If I could do the perfect makeup. This is this is what my perfect makeup would look. <laughs> this is what my perfect makeup would look like. Underneath here, look light and glowy. My cheeks are tan, 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 glowy, glowy. Mm. Hats off to those people who, you know, know to work their craft because me. I just wing it. I just wing it. I do have the makeup. And I also have the tools, but I don't know. 
It's not the end of the world, right? It's not the end of the world. I also see this is a new thing where underneath here look a little bit dark. See? I know these things. Underneath here look a little bit darkish and right here and right here. But the question is Am I putting it in the right spot, I think? Am I putting enough to get the look? Am I blending it out right? So, okay, let's chat. Let's chat people, okay. So, okay, this YouTube thing. I'm not stepping on anybody's toes, but this is only <clears throat> my opinions and only mine. So this is what I gather from YouTube. Okay. I subscribe to people who has like million, millions, 500,000, 30 odd K, I mean, right, I subscribe to those people, I watch their videos, I don't really comment that often, but I watch the ads and I also like, I make sure I like, now those people, I don't think they would watch my channel. It's the truth. Why? Their channel already up there. Mine, not even scratch the surface. Why would they watch my channel? Okay, so my thing is, I'm not saying I'm going to unsubscribe. I know I can learn from them, but I need to find other YouTubers who's young in the business and who is just coming up and can recognize that this person subscribe to my channel, this person comment, this person like. Because all these people that I subscribe to and I like and I watch their ads, I don't think they even really care because their channel is, mine is, under the grassroots. So, <clears throat> the people that I watched, they don't have no time for my channel. The people with the million sub subscribers and the millions and the 30K and the 40K, those people are looking to the million and the million subscribers to gain some type of so the message is young youtubers we have to stick together because all of those big names like the jackie heiner and the this and the that and the blah 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 they're not looking our way they're looking to the veterans to the millions we don't hear so this is what i gather we as the small YouTubers, we need to find each other. We need to subscribe to each other channel. We need to comment. We need to create our community so we stick together and we build together. Because those YouTubers, they already build their channel. They already have their community. So if you just come into their community, you last. 
you last in their community because this is my opinion this is my opinion this is my opinion and that's what i think so i'm not gonna unsubscribe i would never do that but i'm trying to find young youtubers like me to build with them and so they could build with me because out of these people that I usually watch and like and share and comment, blah, 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 blah. What the fuck would they do on my channel? Watch me, can I do makeup? No. So, young YouTubers, let's build our community together. Those big names, of course we can watch them to get, um, ideas and you know know how to go out with channels and all of that but don't focus on them to like share comment and subscribe no they don't have time for us so that's my two cents that's my two cents so i'm gonna go in with my two face i know i dropped it I dropped it guys and it's all shattered into pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with my Chanel. Face powder. I'm gonna see if I could Maybe go to Zara. I could get that from um pharmacy. But what do I need from Whole Foods? I could go to Sephora. I could go to Sephora and I could go to Zara. I'm gonna find out from my boyfriend if he wants to make that run. Or maybe we could just go there first and um, then go to brunch. I'm gonna see what he's up to. color on my cheeks nothing nothing too crazy so my face has a little color on it see it has a little bit of just a little something, something. Okay, so that's that. Oh, my pencil, it's done. Um, I need to get one from Elf. See, there are times, there are times when I question my YouTube channel, like, what are you doing, girl? 
But why? Because I'm not saying this is all about Starbucks and luxury this and luxury that, but I feel like in my life, I've already been there, done that. Already been on the luxury vacation, the private jets. I've already done the Starbucks. I already have the luxury bags, the luxury shoes. So I'm like, what do I have to share? <laughs> what, do I, <laughs> what do I have to share? <laughs> um, I'm gonna do it over again. I can't do it, I can't afford to do it. <laughs> I already done the, the weekly nails business, the eyebrow, the hairdresser. I think I'm over it. Listen, COVID. COVID changed me. Hmm. Because when I used to live in New York, I was at Nantucket Island. Have you ever been to Nantucket Island, people? Hmm. Have you ever been to some island in in America? I'm gonna I'm gonna insert a clip of this place I spent a month at month. And let me tell you, those people, if I go to New York and want to stay with my family or whatever, I just call them. They'll be like, oh, you know the code for the house. The Range Rover key's right there. Go on in. Yeah, guys, so this is me driving over to the private island. It is so beautiful. It's so nice I mean it was raining so it looks a little bit you know like cloudy and gray but when the Sun is out oh my goodness it's amazing so I'm gonna insert a picture of the island because I took some pictures and I'm also going to insert a little clip of the video it's always yachts always like boats passing by it's it's just amazing it's just amazing so yeah i spend a month and two weeks there it's like a vacation wait for the picture wait for it So beautiful. Ever hear the saying that every corner you go to you find a Jamaican I was one of those <laughs> I was one of those Jamaicans in one hey guys so I'm done with the hair done with the makeup 
and this is it i need to color my hair my roots are going out but um yeah that's it so let's go find something to wear let's go find something to wear in this back room They kind of match. I could either wear it out or wear it in. What do you think, guys? I think they look good together. It's a little bit crush. I'm definitely not pressing any clothes. <clears throat> Let's tuck it in and see what is given. I dump see all these hangers I dump so much of my clothes my closet is empty that's it oh my god I dump my shit but I have more clothes back there though but this is what I'm working with right now this is like church clothes over there and this is like some like you know like day clothes and this is like some going out clothes and but they have my going out clothes so and i'm still gonna dump shit because it's just too much crap but let's find something to wear have these sneakers so long i don't feel like i wear them enough so they're brand new i probably have these a good Maybe, maybe four or five years. I was thinking maybe I could just wear them today. Let's see how they look with my outfit. I, don't know, I was obsessed with these sneakers when I just saw them like about four or five years ago. And now I don't think I like them anymore. But let's see how I look with my outfit. They're super uncomfortable. They're kind of like a soft. Mm. I'm not feeling them. Oh, it's just a waste. I mean, all these trouble. I don't know. I'm going to try and sell them back. I wore them once. So I'm going to try and see if I could sell them back. Cause I don't know. I don't know. I tried to wear them just now, but they're killing my vibe. Uh, I'm going to wear my oh, I'm gonna wear my Chanel I could wear this okay 
So that's what I'm wearing. End of freaking story. That's what I am. Let's take the backs down. Hi hey guys, so I'm all ready. I'm wearing a silver earring and some silver layers. I have these for quite a while now. Um, but yeah, so that's the final look. I'm wearing this little shirt from Marshalls and my pants, they're socks and my little um, sanders and my bag so yep that's it So guys, I have the jerk chicken and pineapple waffles, really good. And my friends, they had the oxtail pasta, delicious. So if you happen to go there, you could try that, really good. Hey guys, I'm back home. I did not get to go to the mall, but um, Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Mwah. Bye.